I wasn't paying attention. He wrecked. No idea who he was. That's cool though. He is a random kid that I found in a project. Hey, what's up, guys? Legit Meow here, and this is gonna be a uh, L96 A1 commentary. And if you didn't know that L96A1 got patched yesterday and so did all the snipers so that they don't have that uh, random bullet spread if you shoot too fast, which pretty much enables close range quick scoping and there's a nice collateral to start off the game. Um, before I go any further, I'd like you guys to please check out the description of this video and find the link to my new channel, youtube.com slash cute. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go over there and subscribe as it's going to probably be my main channel in uh, a, a week or so. And there's a nice quad feed to start off the game. That'll be a montage clip and my montage will be going up on my new channel Cute uh, as well as uh, my future commentaries and stuff. So that's a good reason to go over there and subscribe I suppose. And don't worry I don't have a wallpaper right now but I will get one soon. And here's the cinematic for that. Collateral and dodge the RPG and quick scope the last guy. That was pretty sick, I think. Uh, the highlight was definitely the dodging the RPG part, uh, in my eyes anyways. And um, if you see that emblem on my gun there, that's the GetSomeGear.com emblem. Um, they sent me a package of t-shirts that I'm going to use for prizes for the editing contest that me and COD Gameplay are going to be doing in the future. I've said this so many times, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you probably know by now. Um, but I just thought it would be cool to rep my, my company on my sniper rifle, you know. Um, I don't know if this uh, Arctic camel is the best camel to use for montages because it might not show up that well. Uh, like I think I should probably use a more contrasting camel, like uh, the Yukon or sorry the Siberia or something like that. Um, anyways, um, I'm really liking the sniping in this game now. It's not too hard, not too easy. Um, it's really hard to quick scope long range, but close range it, it's decent um, the only problem is you get a lot of hit markers and the amount of people who run final stand in this game is just crazy so um, it can be really annoying if somebody's running uh, final stand which pretty much bounces it out in my eyes uh, yeah so I'm using the counter spy plane the blackbird and I believe the sentry gun the sentry gun's pretty good for um, blocking off spawns in this game or uh, any Call of Duty game when you're playing Demolition. Like, say if I put the sentry gun on top of the truck in the middle, then they'd be forced to take the left or the right uh, hall, like alleys instead of going right down the middle. So then um, it's going to be really predictable where the enemy's going to run through. And um, it's also good to use the Blackbird and the, the counter UAV to help out your team. And I especially like the counter UAV. Um, when you're using a sniper because the sniper is not any good silence and when you have a counter UAV it's really cool to like uh, for the enemy team not to be able to see you when you're showing up all over the radar all the time so yeah and the ACOG scope now after the patch from yesterday is really good um, it's almost like COD 4 except uh, there's still a tiny bit of delay but it's not such a big deal and uh, I've been playing with Darth Cross lately. He's pretty cool. We like sniping together, I suppose. Uh, he snipes more than me, though. He's probably better than me, too. And I'm really liking this Makarov pistol. Um, I was using the Pythons before, but I switched to the Makarov, and I think it's like 10 times better. Um, the, the Python, it seemed like it reloaded way too slow, and if you ever got into a sticky situation, you'd always lose. And uh, with the Makarov, you could usually... Well, it seems like with the Makarov, I can handle uh, SMGs and assault rifles in close quarters pretty well. So, I kind of like it. Um, the, there still is that uh, shake when you look down your scope, but there's not the, the random bullet spray. So, it's pretty good. Like I said, uh, it's, a quick scoping is only really effective at close range. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a bit of a drag scope. The the unfortunate part about this patch though is that some of my clips that I got with the sniper before patch are gonna probably look silly in a montage because people won't know that they're post patch and that I had to kind of hard scope a bit. But uh, oh well. And um, tactical insertion is a very important part of demolition because um, the enemy te tends to try really hard to spawn trap you, and if you can stay away from your spawn at all times. Um, 
in this game the enemy team kind of sucked and they couldn't even get over to our spawn so it wasn't much of a problem but if I was ever getting spawn killed I'd run over to their side and put a tactical insertion there so I wouldn't have to worry about getting unnecessary deaths from that and here it might look like I'm running around uh, randomly but I'm walking around pretty strategically like I've got a teammate behind me so I know that they won't spawn back there and um, I'm looking at my UAV all the time so so I know that uh, nobody's sneaking around behind me and I think it worked out pretty well I didn't get any unsuspected deaths and there's a sentry gun the thing that I don't like about the sentry gun though is that you have to wait for it to drop out of the air so it really slows down the pace of the game if you use it uh, and that guy was camping in the corner pretty hard there Oh, and I've started using Ghost as my primary, uh, or my first perk. I think I used to use Lightweight, but, um, in Demolition, there's not really any point of Lightweight since you can just put a tactical insertion by their spawn and then, um, you can be close to the action all the time. Uh, the reason I like to use Lightweight in Domination is because, yeah, you always have to, like, run to the other flag to find the enemies usually if, if your team's at, well... My, the teams that I'm on are usually pretty unbalanced, like, because uh, if, like, if you get an SR-71 or the Blackbird, um, your team usually does really well and keeps the enemy pinned in their spawn, and then you have to go all the way over to their spawn to go find them, because they're not going to be running around the map very much with uh, SR-71, so, um, so I, I would use Lightweight, but in... In demolition, you can just put a tactical insertion down, and it's all good. So I, I'm starting to use ghosts, so I can sneak around their spawn a bit more. And also, I like it because you get to wear a ghillie suit with a sniper, which is always cool because it, it actually makes sense. I hate it when people use like an AK-74U with the uh, ghillie suit on because it always confuses me, and I always like, um, like if I'm pr prioritizing my shots to get like uh, the guy who I think is the highest threat first, if there's like a crowd of people. And then uh, the guy with the ghillie suit always has uh, an SMG or something and it catches me off guard. And It's kind of hard to break the habit of like all the other Call of Duty games because a uh, ghillie suit always used to mean that they had a sniper rifle, but oh well. And I didn't even get to put down my sentry gun or anything because I thought I was going to use this stuff in the second round, but unfortunately the host leaves and um, oh, it, tr it tries to go to host migration and then it just kicks everybody, so... Um, yeah, this game's only going to be the first round, unfortunately. I would have liked to play the rest of it, but, uh, oh well, matchmaking kind of sucks in this game. So anyways, check out the link in the description to my new channel, Cute, and thanks for watching. Peace.